Hi guys, it's Ben here, hope you're doing well. It's the Man City versus Liverpool preview, the first game back after the international break. I'm sorry that it's such a late upload, but I'm very, very busy. So, anyway, we're back in action after two weeks off uh, since that absolutely magnificent 4-0 win over Arsenal. We got seven points in the first three games, a good start. Uh, the transfer window didn't necessarily go as planned. Uh, we got Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. But other than that, we didn't get Van Dijk. Keita has signed, but for next year, and he scored an absolutely wonder goal tonight, so that's only uh, made us feel even less good about the fact we have to wait another 12 months before we can see him in a red shirt. But I'm very confident going into Man City, and I've been saying this all week. I'm not sure why. I mean, it is on paper the hardest game that we'll face all season away at Man City, away at Pep Guardiola's Man City. Uh, but Everton did very well at the Etihad uh, a couple of weeks ago when they played there. Uh, they nearly got the win. Obviously, it was against 10 men. But I just, for some reason, I'm just very, very confident, almost complacent going into this one. Uh, that, that, despite not signing Van Dijk, despite not having a great defence, uh, despite not really struggling in the midfield, uh, obviously no Cater, uh, no Thomas Lamar either. But we have kept Coutinho, who will not feature uh, against Man City. I don't know why I'm so confident. Maybe it's the drink talking. I don't know. Uh, but I've been saying all week, Sadio Mane is one player of the month, Premier League player of the month, uh, Sa uh, Mohamed Salah is one, the Liverpool player of the month, so we've got a lot of form players in the attacking sense. Uh, Jordan Henderson uh, has been playing well recently, Vijnaldum and Chan are in good form, Chan still hasn't signed that contract for, for whatever reason. Uh, but that front six is you know, very much set in stone, so that I'm not nervous about it's obviously all going to come down to how we can defend. I mean, Lovren's going to need the game of his life against Aguero and or Jesus. Uh, John Matip likewise. In terms of the starting 11, I mean, obviously, surely uh, Mignolet is going to come back in. Uh, I'm going to, I'll go for it now. I mean, Trent, is he, is he ready to come back in? I, I'd imagine he will, along with Matip, Lovren, and I think Moreno will probably start. Everyone seems to be raving about Moreno at the moment. Uh, people seem to think he's playing really well, and Klopp seems to have you know, found this trust in him again, so I think he'll start a left-back, and then the front six, as I mentioned, Henderson, Van Adam, Chan, uh, Mane, Firmino and Salah. I mean, the goals, the goals in that front six are staggering. I can't see us not scoring two or three. Um, you know, maybe I'm being a bit complacent, but I, I'm just very, very at ease coming to this one. More so than I would be if we were playing Crystal Palace at home, which is bizarre, but maybe it's just the fact that I haven't seen us play in a couple of weeks and I've forgotten our deficiencies. But look, we just we absolutely wiped the floor with Arsenal, who are a good side, despite what you might think about Wenger and you know his tactics, you know, something, something I've criticised in a recent video. But they're a top side with top players. Man City likewise, Man City obviously probably a step above that, they are the favourites to win the Premier League this season there. For me the second best team in the league behind United at the moment, but I think Liverpool have got real, real potential. I just, that front three is absolutely frightening and we know Firmino loves the game at the Etihad, he played very well there in 15-16 and thought he played well there last season as well, even though he didn't score, he got the penalty uh, which uh, Milner converted in the end. Otherwise. It's a shame Coutinho is not back in the squad. It's a shame he's not going to start tomorrow. I would have loved to see him back in. He loves playing against Man City more than anyone else. But I don't know if it's our record against them. I don't know if it's Klopp's record against Guardiola that makes me feel very comfortable with this. Uh, obviously, you know, as, as I mentioned, we won there 4 1 in 15 16. We won there. Uh, you know, our, our record, other than that, maybe isn't perfect. We drew there last season. We should have won. The line obviously missed our sitter. Uh, it was a real topsy turvy game. It's going to be very, very open tomorrow, I think. Um, there's going to be lots of goals. Neither defence is particularly stable. Neither attack <laughs> can be given a yard. It's going to be a very exciting way to kick off the weekend. I'm just so glad the Premier League is back. I'm so glad I am not don't have to think about transfers anymore, even though the window didn't go as I wanted it to. Liverpool are going to win at Man City, I think. Um, that's what I think. <laughs> I'm always optimistic going into games, I'm always predicting wins for us, I know I'm, I might be becoming quite predictable in that regard, uh, I think maybe when we get to Burnley at home next week I won't be so confident for some reason, it's, it's those games that make me worry the most, but I think Man City away tomorrow, look, they're a great side, I think David Silva's having an absolutely wonderful season, he's in the form of his life, Bernardo Silva looks good for them, Leroy Sané, De Bruyne, um, I mean Aguero and Jesus, I mean they've got the best squad in the Premier League by an absolute mile, the fullbacks they've signed are remarkable, Walker's going to come back in tomorrow I'd imagine, uh, Mendy uh, is integrated in that side now, still not convinced on the keeper, company's out so a centre back's still going to be able to be, you know, exposed, hopefully we can exploit that with the, with the pace we've got going forward. 
I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling very good indeed. Let me know your predictions, guys. Um, it's a 12.30 game on Saturday, uh, so hopefully it can put us in a great mood for the rest of the weekend. We can watch the likes of United go to Stoke and hopefully struggle. Chelsea have got to go to Leicester. Arsenal playing Bournemouth at home. I expect them to win there. Uh, Spurs, I believe, going to Everton. So a lot, a lot of big games, a lot of important ones this weekend. But none bigger than Liverpool at Man City. Will Oxley chamberlain feature? For me, he's got no chance of starting. For me, I can't see where his start is going to come from at all uh, in the Premier League anytime soon. For me, he's sort of fifth or sixth choice as far as centre mids are concerned when everyone's fit. So good luck to him there. And we've obviously got the European game in midweek. Looking forward to getting the Champions League season back up and running uh, after a couple of years off from that competition. But this is a game in which if we do win it, people are really going to start talking about us. People are really going to start taking us seriously as title contenders, which I don't think people are doing just yet, as we obviously failed to get Van Dijk in, failed to get Cater in this year. So people are writing us off defensively, people are writing us off as far as maybe being one or two short. And I wasn't particularly happy with the summer myself. I still think we're one or two short. But we're still in there. We're still in there with a, with a shout. I think we're probably about third or fourth favourites to win the league. Uh, and a winner city on Saturday would really cement ourselves as a, as a real big player. So I'm going for a 3-2 win with each of the front three players scoring as they do all the time. Firmino, Mane, Salah. It's so late at night, I have to get to bed. I'm going to have to get to bed and watch this game tomorrow uh, from the comfort of my own home. But I'm picking the Reds to win. Let me know if you agree with me. Let me know what your predicted 11 is. Let me know your thoughts on the four. If you're feeling positive after that, Disappointing, damn squib of a final day in the transfer window, really. But I'm still feeling good. I've had my time to think about it. I've had my time to forget about the mishaps of the transfer window. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy the game against Man City. Let's win this one. Let's really, really push for a title this year. I think we still can. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please do subscribe for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. It's Ben I say it and all of those. Check out my interview with Ollie Bond, which went up the other day. Real great insight on that. And also, uh, make sure you're checking out the Anfield Press charity match uh, for the NFC Foundation and Owen McVeigh. Uh, I'm going to be taking part in that game uh, in Bootle on the 15th of October. I'll put some info in the description for that one. Make sure you donate. Make sure you come along and watch it. It's free to get in. Very excited about that. And I'll see you next time.